Hey guys, welcome to my channel or back to my channel if you're new. My name is Cameron and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this bucket hat. This bucket hat is relatively easy. It's just a regular bucket hat, but we're going to be combining yarns so that it comes out thicker and you won't need any type of thick yarn for this because to make this hat what we do is we take like just regular yarn and then you put them together so they become thicker yarn which i'm going to show you guys how to do so don't think you have to go out and buy like bulky yarn or anything because you don't that's the beautiful thing about this hat um i would put it on right now to show you but i'm feeling like ariana today so i got a little ponytail i have a mannequin let me put it on the mannequin to show you guys but the thing I like about this hat is you can wear it like just like a plain bucket hat or you can curl the brim and wear it as like a little, you see it's really cute. Or you can wear it as like a cowgirl hat, cowboy hat, whatever you like. You know, I just like that there's many options on how to wear this hat. So I think that's all I gotta say. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the materials you'll need for this project are I'm using a six millimeter hook since we are going to be doubling our yarn so it's going to be thicker, some scissors, and then just a bunch of random scraps that I have. And you can get as many or as little as you want. I just grabbed a bunch, I'm probably not going to use them all, but I just grabbed a bunch and then I'll see what I end up using. So to start this project, you're just going to take two of your scrap yarns. I'm going to start with dark green and blue. And then you're going to find the ends of them. Then you put them together and you're going to create a magic ring. So to do a magic ring, so you're going to take two fingers, wrap your yarn around your fingers like this. So you have a little X, take your hook, go under the first loop, go under the second, pull it up, and then you're going to pinch that spot right there and slip your fingers out. So here's what you have now. And then from here, you're going to take your long tail and you're going to chain two. So here's what you have. And then you're going to work 10 double crochets into the circle. So a double crochet is wrap around your hook, go into the circle, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. And I'm going to do this nine more times. So I'll show you guys one more time. Wrap around, go into the circle, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So I'm gonna finish all 10 of my double crochets and I'll be back. So I've just finished all 10 of my double crochets and now I'm gonna take this small tail that we have and pull it tight until the circle closes. And then I'm gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round right here. So I'm gonna go into that stitch with my hook and then I'm gonna take my long yarn pull through and then do a slip stitch just like that so we completed the circle now we're going to take our two next colors i'm going to go with brown and white i'm going to do this hat like a little more earthy tones so once you get your new yarn you're going to take your new yarn and kind of and just put it on your hook and pull it through where we just slip stitched and then Make sure you pull your previous round nice and tight so everything's tight and then chain two. Again, just I'm pulling everything, making sure everything's tight. And then into the stitch that we worked our slip stitch, we're gonna work two double crochets. So I'm gonna work two double crochets into this slip stitched stitch. And I'm working over all my tails so that I don't have to weave them in. So I'm working one double crochet and then I'm gonna work one more double crochet into that same stitch. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm working two double crochets in each stitch and you should end off with 20 double crochets total. So here's one. And then right back into that stitch, two. So I'm gonna work my increase in every stitch and then I'll be back. So I finished all of my double crochets and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off my tails from my last round since they're all tucked in. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And then I'm going to grab my next two colors. Then we're going to do the same thing where we connect it here. 
slip it through, pull everything tight, chain two, and I'm going to work the first stitch as an increase. So right into where we slip stitch, I'm going to work two double crochets. So here's one, and then two, and then in the next stitch, I'm just going to work one double crochet. The stitch after that, I'm going to work two double crochets. Then after that, one double crochet. Then two double crochets. Then one. So the pattern is two, one, two, one, two, one all the way across and then once I finish, I'll meet you guys back. So I made it back around and then I'm gonna slip stitch into that first double crochet. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my last round. Get my next two colors, pull them through. Tighten everything, chain two. And then into that first stitch, I'm going to work my increase, so two double crochets. One. And two. Then in the next stitch, I'm going to work one double crochet. And then in the stitch after that, I'm going to work one double crochet. And then in the stitch after that, I'm going to work two double crochets. And I'm going to keep this pattern up of one double crochet, one double crochet, and then our increase. I'm going to work this all the way around and then I'll meet you guys back. Remember it's double crochet, double crochet, increase, double crochet, double crochet, increase, double crochet, double crochet, increase. I'm nearing the end and I just want to like tell you guys, you know if you're doing it right, if uh, since we started with an increase, you should have how many, however many double crochets are in between our increases between that increase. So, for example, we did an increase, two double crochets, increase. So, I just worked an increase, right? So, if I have two double crochets, then I'm good because it's the increase after that, if that makes sense. So, the row after that, or the row after this would be you would have three double crochets left and then you would slip stitch, if that makes sense. Or you could just count. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm pretty sure that's how it's counted. I think it goes up by 10 every row. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. But if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter as long as it's a circle. So I finished that, I'm gonna slip stitch and I'm gonna cut my last row. If you recognize the pattern, you can go on without me. Uh, so it basically is, this was all increases and then increase with one in between, increase with two in between, next row is increase with three in between. And you're just going to keep working that until it fits a little bit smaller than the top of your head. If you want to make it exactly like me, I did five rolls total. So one, two, three, four, five. But it's up to you, however many you want to do. So I'm going to continue showing you guys. But if you guys know what you're doing, you can go ahead and skip. I have, have timestamps. It should be on the video. If it's not on the video, then it'll be in the description box. But now I'm going to move on to my next two colors. And then I'm going to... Go ahead and connect with slip stitch, chain two, and then I'm going to work two double crochets into the stitch we slip stitched into. So here's one, two, and then since we worked two double crochets in the last round, we're going to work three double crochets. So here's one, and then the next stitch, another one. And the next stitch, another one. And then I'm gonna work an increase into the next stitch. So one, and then right back in there with another one. And that's the pattern, just one, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase all the way around. And I'll meet you guys when I'm done. So this is gonna conclude the top of our hat. I'm just gonna go ahead and slip stitch. And now we're gonna work on the the part that goes 
down your head. So get your next two colors and then I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch like normal or slip my yarn through, pull through and then chain my two. And we're done making increases. Now what we're gonna be doing is working in the back loops only so that it can create a fold in our hat. So into the first stitch, we're just gonna work a regular double crochet, no back loops or anything. So just like normal, into where we slip stitched, work a double crochet. And then into the stitch after that, as you can see, there's a V. We're gonna be working under the back of V and make sure you pick up both colors. So I'm gonna do a double crochet into that back V. just like that and it creates like a little hump there and I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around no increases just one double crochet in each back loop until I make it back around so I'll show you guys one more time wrap your yarn go into that back loop pull through two pull through two and I'm just gonna work this all the way around Okay, so once you finish, you're just gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet like normal. And then I'm gonna grab my two next colors and I'm just gonna do the same thing where I connect, pull it through the loop, pull everything tight. And then for the next however many rows you need, you're just gonna work one double crochet into each stitch, not back loops only, just regular in both V's. And for my hat, if you want my measurement, I did it for I did mine for five rows, but this hat was a little bit um, tall on me, so I am going to do for four rows on this hat. But basically, you're just going to keep doing rows until it fits right above your ear. So it should fit like in the cozy of your ear. And I'm just going to do four rows, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to chain two like normal, work into the first double crochet that we slip stitched into and then do one double crochet into each stitch from there. So no increases, no back loops only, just straight double crochets all the way around until we reach four rows. So I'll be back whenever I finish all my rows and then we can start working on our brim and then we'll be done. I'm finished with my rows and you can go ahead and try this on and make sure it fits right above your ears if it is too short you can add more rows if it's too long you can remove some rows but now we're gonna work on our brim so I'm gonna get my new color my new two colors and then connect them like normal chain two and then I'm gonna work one double crochet into the first stitch so where we slip stitched and then I'm gonna be working one double crochet in each front loop only with increases so that was one then in the next stitch, I'm gonna work in the front loop only. So we last time we worked in the back, now we're gonna work in the front right here. That's two. And then we're gonna work one more front loop only in the next stitch. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna work an increase in the front loop only. So here's one double crochet in the front loop and then one more in the front loop. So the pattern is front loops only for this whole row. We're gonna work three double crochets. So one, two, three, and then an increase. One, two, three, and then an increase. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. Here's one in the front loop only. Two. Three. And then I'm gonna work an increase into the next one. And I'm gonna continue this pattern all the way around. Front loops only, one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase, all the way around, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm coming to the end, and um, these increases don't match up like the top ones did. So like if you work three, there should be three left. It's not like that. You just keep working around and around. So I'm gonna do my increase. And then I have one stitch left. Now I'm going to slip stitch like normal. Get my next two colors. I'm going to slip my next two colors in. 
pull everything tight. Chain two. And then I'm just gonna work one double crochet into each stitch. I'm not working in front loops, I'm not working in back loops, I'm working in both loops. So just one double crochet into each stitch all the way around in both loops. And I'll meet you guys whenever I finish this row. If you want more ruffles than me, then instead of doing this row, you would do increases. So you would do four double crochets and then an increase. But if you want it to look like mine, then just work a double crochet row and you should be good. Just finished and then for our last round, it's the exact same thing. I'm gonna grab my two colors, pull it through. Chain two. And then I'm just gonna work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you guys whenever I finish. I just cut off all my yarn and then sewed it in and then I realized that I want to make another row. So that's why it, it's going to look a little out of order. But I'm going to add one more row to my bucket hat and then we'll be done. So I'm going to grab my two next colors. Okay, so I'm going to connect like normal. Like I said, I did cut off my yarn and all that so I am actually not starting like normal but whatever. And I'm going to work a double crochet in every stitch all the way around the hat until I make it back. And then I'll be done with that. So in total, I did four rows for the brim instead of three. Okay, so once you finish your round, just slip stitch into the first stitch, like normal. Chain one, and then cut a little bit of a tail so you can weave it in. Pull it through, pull it tight. And then to weave it in, I just go through, I just take my hook and I go through random stitches inside the hat. And then I pull that yarn through. Then I cut it. So that's the end of the bucket hat. You can try it on. Make sure you like it. You can add more rows if you want. But yeah, that's the bucket hat. Okay, so I like to stretch the book the brim of the bucket hat a little bit so that it's not like this. And then ah, it's so cute. Here is the final bucket hat. Ooh, it's a mess back there. <laughs> Here's the first one I made. And I made this for my trip to Puerto Rico to the outro. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it was easy to understand. If you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And tune in next weekend. For a new video comment down below what you want to see from me back to school content is coming and yeah just comment anything you want to see from me and i will do my best to make it happen bye guys i appreciate you love you